What's cracking, you two? We are here back at it again for another episode of some Midnight Club Los Angeles episode 25, man. Hopefully, y'all are having a good day slash night for whatever time y'all are watching this game, of course. And as you can clearly see, I have a new car. This isn't really my car. This is a suggested comment of a particular build that this man wanted me to do. Um, the colorway and all that, this is actually kind of my personal flair, but the dimensions that he wanted me to do, uh, as you can see right here on the screen, that he wanted me to go, let me go take a look at the comment myself, where is it at? He wanted to go 19 inches for, or yeah, 19 inches on the front wheels, 30 for the profile, 25, or 275 for the fronts and all that, but, um, the thing is... I went with 20s in the front and 21s in the rear for the rim size. And because of that, um, if I were to go 19s here and 20s on here, I won't get the right height to a negative two on both. So that way, you know, there won't there won't be such a gap like right between the wheel and the fender itself. So, you know, in my opinion, I think this is actually a slightly cleaner look to it. But your dimensions, it, they're still practically the same. It's just a slightly bigger rim. But the profile and the, uh, the widths and all that, I think it's pretty much exactly like damn near similar if not exactly the same i don't know but this is the best i could do for my capabilities for your type of specs that you wanted for this corvette but yeah i definitely got you on that suggested build and yes all the builds that i had suggested like they're all here man like let me let me let, let, let me take you look tongue twisting the shit on my words i am going to show y'all the suggested fucking offers that i had on the previous couple episodes ago so we go to manage the vehicles over here one of which is the um all right, it took me forever to find a freaking comment, but yeah, he wanted me to do the Gallardo, so I'm about to show you all that shit right now. You want me to go with the dark lime green with the TIS rims and all that shit. Uh, the first option with the bumpers and uh, first option with the spoiler and all that. So yeah, I luckily I had one of those unlocked, so I was able to do what I needed to do for this car and all. So this was his suggested uh, build that he wanted me to do. Let me know down in the comment section what y'all think about his Gallardo and all that. I think I honestly did that with my personal flair with the uh, green stitch in the interior, but this is actually not that bad. It actually came out a lot more better than I thought. So yeah, this is actually pretty damn clean, man. Me personally, I don't know if I would have had the spoiler on it, but it doesn't look too, 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 too crazy on it. It's not that bad. It's not that bad at all. I do appreciate it. N nonetheless, let's go on to the other uh, suggested build. This one was a 96 Impala. This man right here, bro. He wanted me to go donks on that shit with the blue chrome and all that. Yo, this one right here, man. I got to tell you. So far, this one's by far one of my favorite suggested builds. And it's got, it, you know, it's got some hydraulics on that shit, bro. You know, you already know that oh, on that shit, man. This bitch is fucking smacking, bro. I could have put some white walls on this, but I think that might have been a little bit too extra. So I just kind of left it with the default tires and all that shit. And you wanted me to go with the blue chrome. At least that's what it's that's what it looked like it said on the comment. And uh, yeah, I try to go match up with the color schemes and all that shit. We got the LED tail lights and all that shit, rocking out the TIS play and all that beautiful shit. And uh, yeah, including the headlights as well. Like man, everything about this build. That one is fucking smacking. And last but not least, man, we finally did it, man. The Tanner fucking Fox fucking colorway that you wanted me to do for the Mercy. I even went to the extent for the wheels as well. And I believe these are... What kind of wheels are we looking for right here? Hold up. Let me, let, let me go take a look at this real quick. Ah, so you want to go with the Fords. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Luckily, I saw that comment at the last second. So you want me to go with some Fords wheels on that bitch. Okay. Um, to be honest, what kind of... Oh, my... Good, nah, bro. I, mm, that's a strong possibility right there. Uh, wait. Am I already rocking out the Daytona? Wait. Oh. Ha! I'm already rocking out the Fords. I thought it looked like it was showing a different set. It was showing a... Uh, okay, what, whatever the fuck. I, that's a brain fart right there. Each suggested vehicle that was obviously suggested. Um, I'm going to run each of those vehicles for each of these opponents. I think that might be a... Uh, that might be a good idea. I was going to do these on the next episode, but why not? Why not do it on this episode? Because I know this one and these, like, they don't count as, like, the actual campaign fucking mission. So, off rip, let's go to the downtown champion and see what the fuck is hidden for it.
I gotta put this out there, man. There is a lot of suggested comments and challenges and builds that a lot of people like have like a lot of crazy ideas and all. But I noticed that some of y'all that's like, oh, I either ignore them or I just go with the, whatever's my personal favorite. That is not true, bro. Sometimes I forget what I'm about to suggest. And okay, thanks, bitch. You see what the fuck I'm driving here? Well, okay, that. Thank you, man. But I don't ignore other comments at all. I, I never do that. Every comment that I heart, I read it. And just sometimes I either forget because there's so many other suggestions out there that I'm like, oh, okay. I, I don't mind if I want to do this one as well. But I don't ever, I don't ever ignore anyone's comment. Like, there's just so many suggested ideas and builds that where it, it's somewhat overwhelming, but at the same time, I'm, I'm a very forgetful person. So, you know, don't take it the wrong way, man. I try not to forget, man. I'm sorry. All right, so this one doesn't look that too bad of a race, but uh, yeah, I got so so held up with like fucking IRL shit, and as well as still trying to get Midnight Club Dub Edition on track for online and all that, because um, there are some servers that I'm able to join, but there are also some servers that I am not able to join. Like I don't know, sometimes it just goes both ways. I am, but I'm not. So I'm still trying to figure it out and plan for a very special video in the near future and all that. Maybe very well for a 3k special that's without question i don't know if i want to do a live stream but yeah i'm pretty sure okay but without question i am definitely planning to do like another hour of power long for that 3k special man that's definitely in the books i definitely got to put that on my notes for my to-do list and all that shit so yeah dude this tanner box fucking lambo though looks absolutely fucking wicked man and i'm out here for fucking redemption i'm not here trying to drive like a fucking idiot so yeah my sweet baby jesus so look at this man this dude is literally getting dusted and you know what i'm not even gonna hold up on this shit man i'm not gonna get carried away with it oh my lord oh, okay I received this one other comment. I forgot who who said it, but it was the fucking Italian gripper. Okay, like, man. You do your thing. I am doing my thing, man. But where the fuck you at, man? Like, where's the comp? You're the downtown champion, and this is what you're coming out with? Like, I'm barely even holding the damn gas pedal right now. Like, I'm literally just kind of easing with this shit right now, bro. All right, man. How much more? Okay, we're literally not even that far off. Is this a best of three, or is it just like a one time for the one time type shit? I don't know. We're about to find out after we cross the damn finish line, though. Just to get that signature piece out the way. Let's go. Hell yeah. Get that first place. Oh, yeah. So this is the best out of the three. Okay. That's fine. I can totally work with that. I hear you, man. See you there. I'll see you there, too, bitch. You know what? It's only three champions, so we have four suggested builds. So I don't know how I'm going to work with all of them in one video. I might not even do the time trial in this fucking video, but I don't know. We'll see. Oh, oh my goodness. Car literally almost did a freaking backflip, man. Like, what in the hell, man? Yeah, dude, this car, man, it is an absolute fucking killer through all these sections. Like, look at... You're really going to regret pushing that toy box of yours so hard. I mean, you literally said what literally just happened, man, so... That was all you. Actually, that was all me, bro. Like, I don't know what the hell you're talking about. All right, here we go, man. I think on this episode, I'm going to start taking it a little bit more seriously. I'm just going to fucking... Not really gonna be like in too crazy in commentary mode. Oh my goodness! And I still have to get the hang of this game. Just a little bit. I should have did what I said I was going to do in the last episode. But you know what? I might as well just do that right now on this episode. You know what? Just fuck it. Not really much more to go on this fucking progression of the race. Oh my lord, bro! This fucking car. Sometimes it it literally gets me speechless, man. Like, I'm not really going all that fast, but just the way how it handles, it's just fucking insane. The Italian gripper, like you said, sir? Yeah, you are not kidding. You do your thing. Every time I say the Italian gripper, he's always just trying to cut me off. It's like almost as if I'm forbidden to say those words. Fucking spam away with the damn nonsense to fucking finish light straight up ahead. Hell yeah, let's get that shit. 
All right, sir, you are rather easy as fuck to deal with. Like, what in the hell, man? When we go up against Book, you know I'm bringing out a fucking Class D vehicle just because he was making fun of that shit. So, yeah, I'm definitely going to enjoy my time with my final moments remaining with these fucking exotics and these Class A, Group 4, vehicle, whatever you want to call it, man. Oh, uh, yeah. Dude, this here... I low-key kind of outdone myself with this fucking car. Like, I know it's pretty much like copy and paste with, with like someone else's build, but like, yo, even the interior and all that. Oh my goodness, this shit looks so damn dope. Okay, I'm clicking out the wrong different shit. Um, yeah, now for the next one, let's do the Gallardo Lambo after another Lambo. Let's fucking do it, man. Let's see what the fuck's cracking. Oh, and by the way, y'all, I'm honestly about to be broke because of all the money that I spent with these, but that's okay. I'm planning to use these cars for the one time for the one time on this episode. And uh, yeah, unfortunately, these cars will have to be sold just for to get that million dollars by the end of this game and all that, you know, for Terrell's sake. So, because we already know what the hell's gonna happen. And like I play this game too many damn times, bro. Like we all know it's about to go down, but yeah. All right, Leticia, let's fucking get. Oh my lord. All right, did you just call me Mr. Man by any chance? What the hell kind of dumbass fucking comment was that? Look, a parts fucking van in the middle of the damn road. That's just fucking thunderful. Shut the fuck up. It's oh, you're also driving a Gallardo as well. I forgot about that, but let me go get that boost off of you real quick, Sunny Bridges. Oh my god, you are so scared. Okay, oh, okay. Nah, but you know what? I'm gonna have to really sweat out now because this chick looks like she's fucking serious. Oh, yeah, you know what? Just try hard mode activated. Fuck it, I'm doing it right now. I'm gonna tuck through this damn fucking All shortcut. Right, you in first place. You got it. Uh, I'm gonna try to, girl, because I'm not really fucking around on this race for some weird reason. Oh, my lord. For some weird reason, I just don't really feel like fucking around at all. I don't want to go, like, too crazy in my commentary mode, but sometimes I, I, I feel like I'd be trying a little bit too hard on that shit at the very same time. So, what I'm gonna do is just kind of ease up into that bitch. You know what I'm oh, my. What is this car doing, man? Fucking fish telling for no reason and shit. I was not expecting the car to be doing all that crazy ass shit, but hey, like we're we're still adapting. Oh my god, man, this fucking car is nasty. Just look what the damage it's doing right now. Like this car is insane, man. I was so close to hit my nitrous, but those two cars are like right there. Oh my god, shut up, bitch! I don't hear none of those malarkey fucking words right now. I almost just died just now. I literally just stared death right in his freaking eye sockets. Oh no, nah, this car is wicked, bro. Oh my goodness, don't hit, don't hit, don't hit, don't hit, don't hit. I hit him. I actually hit him. I was trying not to, but I did anyways. I love the mechanisms and the mechanics, the physics, whatever the hell you want to call it for this game. I do love the way how you're able to control your car in this game. But Midnight Club 3, even though it's an older game, it's just like literally you pick up the sticks and you're good. What's your excuse now, girl? Alright, this is another somewhat of a long slash short race. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, man. The way how the fucking car just gripped up. Oh, dude. Nah, man. This is the Gallardos, man. I wish we could bring back these cars in, like, newer generation racing games, man. The Huracan's been showing a little bit too much love. I, I love Huracan's and all. I mean, I'm not really leading by that much. You know, why don't you fucking go for it? Don't you feel proud of yourself because you got yourself a little bit of lead? Ooh, it looked like you're about to crash right there, girl. Like, you good? Can you handle the pressure of being up there for, for such a long, extensive period of time? I would hope so because there's a big ass turn coming up. Oh, that was actually clean as fuck. Well, we got the damn Christmas theme happening right now. Oh, my sweet baby Jesus. Oh, trust me, I know. This is Midnight Club that we're talking about. Regardless of what kind of Midnight Club, but I, I already knew. I didn't know in this shit, girl. You ain't gotta tell me once. This car is nasty as hell, man. Absolutely freaking wicked. Did she die again? 
what do I need to do to get back into rhythm? Because I did say that I, oh, I play this game all day long. I get that shit from my mother. I said that I'll do. I'll say I'll do it tomorrow, and I end up not fucking doing it. I feel like I don't know, man. It's just a bad gene. Yeah, just note yourself, man. Don't say something and then don't. Do, that, that's the worst thing anyone could ever do, and it's it's a terrible gene, bro. It, and it sucks because I understand it vividly to its core. Like it sucks. It really sucks. But nonetheless, we beat her. Let's get on to the next one. Okay, so to go up against our final opponent that is a wannabe champion, we're going to go with the fucking Seto 6 Corvette, man. Look at this man's suggested build. I know it's technically like my colorway and all that. I think he wanted me to go with his style customization on his profile picture, but I'm going to be honest, bro. It was kind of hard to see what kind of color that you had in your profile picture. I know it looks blue and like a purple tint in the back and all that, but I don't know, man. There's something about a blacked out or like a murder black Corvette that just looks so damn intimidating, bro. So I went with your suggested on the specs of the wheels, but I had to go with the black on red color scheme bro like man technically we're both sharing each other's build and you know i did go with the corvette man so you've been you've been asking for it for a couple episodes back so you know i got you on that shit you know what i mean so let's let's fucking get this shit dude let's see what the fuck this car is capable of so for this episode it's already cutting in around 30 minutes from my recording that's where i would normally stop but i'm gonna finish up this guy i'm not gonna do the time trial we'll save that for the next episode but i definitely do want to try out uh the other dude's um his 96 impala just kind of hop around with that shit with the hydraulics even though it's donked out like man that's it oh that sounds so fucking fun as hell to fucking cruise in bruh but nonetheless, we gotta go up against this dude in his fucking mercy. He looks like he's about that fucking business. So, yeah, let's see what's cracking with this shit. Get the fuck out of my way. Get oh! Okay. I know I tapped into you, but yo, this man. Whoops. Yeah, you'll say that now, but wait till it's all fucking finished up. We're, we're out here in your fucking. Like, this is your shit. I'm about to beat you to your own fucking game, man. Let's fucking get this shit, bro. You got the gripping fucking machine, and this car, from what I remember, it likes to slide. Oh, my lord. But you know what? Nah, man. Nah. The Corvette. Oh, my lord. I can't even speak because this thing is just so crazy. Dude, this fucking thing just oversteers like crazy. Oh, my. I hope your ride doesn't quit on you. Why are you brake checking, man? You literally had all the acceleration in the world, but you just chose to fucking brake check me like that? Not gonna lie, man. I kind of want to go quiet mode on this race just to like, you know what? Just for the fuck of it, I will go quiet mode. I don't think I will go super like quiet mode activated and all that shit. It's not really necessary. As long as I just maintain my focus and do what I got to do. Just maintain my position. Remember, bro, it's not over until the fat lady drops one. I am so rusty on this game, bro. Oh my God. How long does a man have to be rusty for? At this point, it's just a fucking excuse, honestly. I have to. Uh, Alright, GG, dude. You fucking got that one. Alright. Sweat mode, quiet mode, try hard mode, activate on the next race. Suck on my carbon, but- <laughs> I thought he said suck on my chalk. <laughs> Hey, but seriously, fuck you. Oh, I know I will. I 
could not see that fucking car, dude. Your ride won't last if you keep pushing it like this. Oh, I understand that, bro. My god, dude. Uh, I, I hate crashing as much times as I do. I hate it. Like, it, it angers me so much. It makes me want to get better. It, it, and the funny thing is, dude, we're pretty much at the end of the fucking game. And I'm thinking like that. I'm thinking like that. And we're at the end of the campaign, essentially, bro. I, I just, I don't know, man. I don't really know how to explain it. It's not a good fucking feeling. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how to explain it, bro. I don't know, man. I might have to go quiet mode again because I, I just, I don't want to fuck up the way how I am, but I don't know. We'll see where it goes on this race. You are a worthy opponent, and the, th and the thing is, bro, you're just a fucking bot. You're a bot, bro. My fucking galaxy light behind me just randomly turned off and it just distracted the shit out of me. But y'all can't really pick that up on camera because I don't have a face cam. Not, not as of yet, but eventually we'll get to it. Hey, let me know down in the comment section, like, out of all the racing games, like, what is your most personal favorite? Like, I, I want to know about that shit. Oh, my God. But yeah, I'm very curious on what is y'all's favorite um, Midnight Club or Need for Speed or whatever kind of racing game that y'all like. Whether it's new gen, old school, it, like, you know what I mean? Like, let me know down in the comment section what y'all's favorite. Whether it's, like, car selections, customization, visuals, mechanics, the, you know, just everything about the game. I would like to know about that. You already know my fucking bread and butter, man. I don't, I don't really have to go into, like, fall on detail on that shit. Like, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I am, but at the very same time, I don't really give a damn at the very same time, you know what I mean? Alright, we are finally done with this fucking asshole. The man was prolonging the day of recording, but it's fine, it's cool. I don't give a shit, man. I took home the fucking dub. It doesn't even matter. Give me that best out of three. Let's fucking go, man. No. Alright, there he is. So I guess you heard about the waves I've been making. Mm-hmm. You've been making ripples at best, son. Nobody cares about number two. That's something you're gonna have to get used to real soon. Whatever, man. You like my woman. You talk too much. Well, let's stop talking then. Honestly. Just tell me where and when, and I'll make it happen. I want my chance at the title. Yeah. Okay, tough guy. Get to the standard as soon as you can, and we'll settle this once and for all. I don't know if that's going to happen on the next episode, but maybe on episode 27, 28, who knows, man. We definitely going to throw that shit the fuck down. But before we end off today's episode, we got to do that one last suggested vehicle. I don't think we're going to be doing any racing with it, but I'm definitely going to be, be on some chill mode with that shit. Do some hydraulics and just cruise around with that shit, just see how it handles and all that. Because uh, I don't think I've ever purchased that car in this. Well, I purchased it before in this game, don't get me wrong. But in terms of this Let's Play, yeah, I I don't, I don't think I've ever done that yet. So yeah, let's go, let's go pick this bad boy up. Oh my God, this car is fucking smacking, man. Holy shit. Now, what button was it for the hydraulics? Oh, there we go. And it's using the right stick to go that way. Oh yeah, boy. Yo, look at this shit, bro. Oh my God, this thing is fucking insane. And I'm out here going through a freaking tunnel right now, bro. Hold up. Yo, this shit is fucking insane. Look at this bitch fucking bouncing and all. Holy shit, man. Can I do a three-way motion on this or three-wheel? Three-way. Hold on. I'm trying to get the fucking... Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold up. I think I might get it down. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Uh -oh. <laughs> that is not what I wanted to just plow into a fucking rail, man. Awesome. Well, there goes that fucking thumbnail. But whatever. It is what it is, bro. This is a beautiful fucking ass fucking dog, man. No, not nah, lesser. Fuck that. You're always coming through at the worst fucking possible times. But yeah, that will do it for the end of this video, y'all. And if you enjoyed, hit that like button. Subscribe if you're brand new to the channel. Turn on the bell for notifications for all that beautiful, wonderful, glorious ass shit, man. And I will see you next time for the very next episode, baby. Y'all take it easy.